What is going on everyone? It's Codectral here with a video for OBS. If you guys are new to OBS or if you guys have been using it for quite some time, maybe this will actually help you out. Especially if you guys have um, a very shitty ass computer that doesn't have, you know, all the greatest equipment uh, such as a graphics card or a uh, good um, processor just shit like that and even if you have a good processor and a good graphics card um, still watch this video nonetheless because this will help you out um, in the long run um, let's go ahead and begin um, first things first you know install OBS if you don't have it get it Google it um, on the bottom right it'll say settings we're gonna go ahead and click on that um, then we're gonna go down towards our output um, and we're going to be talking about the video bitrate. So um, the bitrate is basically your upload speed. It's going to take all of your upload speed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring a illustration that, um, well, a good visual that uh, I did a speed test on. So you can go to speedtest.net and it'll show your results. As you can see, mine is 30 um, megabytes per second. Let me talk about a little bit about this. So in the um in the bit rates uh let's move that towards the side so i got 30 megabytes per second in the bit rates this goes by kilobytes so i am using um a small portion of my upload speed um if i want to use all of my upload speed i would have to put down 30,000. so um, then that would be 30 megabytes per second uh, but we don't want to use all of our upload speed because we're going to need some bandwidth to actually play the game um, without lagging or to play the you know the movie that you're probably streaming without lagging so whatever your upload speed is you want to cut that in half and that's where you want to uh, put as your bitrate um, i choose 2.2 um, um, two megs so 2.5 megabytes, um, that's a little bit under three. And I really don't need to have to use all of my upload speed. It's, I don't have to. It's good streaming at 1080p. Um, with this upload speed right here, you can stream at 4K. That's if you got the equipment to stream at 4K. Um, but whatever your upload speed is, you want to cut that in half. So for example, if you got the three megs, um, you want to do 1.5, so um, that would be 1,500. Um, and if you have um, 5 megs, you're going to do um, 2,500, which mine was at there. And, you know, if you got 10 megabytes for an upload, you want to do 5 megs, which is 5,000 um, 5, kilobytes. So does that make sense? And if you have this upload speed, good luck. Um, for people who have this speed, you most likely have CenturyLink. Um, how would I know? Because I used to work for the company. I used to have them. Um, and the upload speed sucks ass. Trust me. Um, there's a good chance that you might ha get a higher speed. But if you are in a shitty area, don't get your hopes so high. But check if you can get yourself a better upload speed because this is not doable. This, <laughs> trust me, you'll be lagging constantly. Um, and people on your stream who are viewing your content um, are going to see pixelation. So don't don't even bother with this. Um, unless if you want to stream at um, 360 pixels. Um, but yeah, so I hope that makes sense That um, for the bitrate. So I'm going to put mine back down to uh, 2,500. Now your encoder, this where it says X, um, where it says software X uh, 264, this is your CPU. Uh, we want to go ahead and go towards the advanced so we can show everything. So right now it's selected on the CPU, the X264, um, and it's using your processor. Now that's not necessarily a good thing because what if you're playing a, a PC game and um, you're also streaming at the same time? Um, because it's overthrottling uh, the resources or it's taking all the resources, this is where you want to um, go down to where it says uh, CPU usage uh, preset and you wanted to choose the ultra fast. 
and you're gonna have less of problems. And if you guys use a CPU, if you guys have like a fast um, CPU, like an i7, seven gen, or an i9, something like that, I, st I would still choose the ultra fast because it's gonna take less power from OBS when you're streaming. If you guys have a graphics card, however, um, you will, oh, go back. Um, you wanna go towards your encoder and it'll say NV, um, vsync and it says h264 and this will actually use your graphics card and that's a better performance because your graphics card has more power than your cpu and i would strongly recommend um, using this if you have a graphics card and you don't have to worry about anything else you, we can go ahead and go back towards our simple method um, output mode and for your audio bitrate, it just depends if you guys want the greatest quality for people to listen to you, um, which is 320. But um, just depending on your guys' audio settings, it's going to be defaulted at wherever it's going to be defaulted at. So mine was at um, 160. Um, 190 is uh, where it's going to be at. So it just really depends on what um, audio you want to use, like. If you want to use like ASMR type stuff and like, hey, you know, and get that nice tingling sensation, then go for the 320. So that's that's just the gist of everything um, of actually making your guys' stream quality good. Um, other than, you know, being creative and adding shit to your your scenes here but this this is just the simple method of making sure that you're not lagging um that's not taking up all of your uploading speed as well that we talked about the bit rate and the encoder um we want to make sure that's on um using our gpu which is graphics card so this will actually help you guys out a whole lot and if you guys find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, you know, subscribe to the channel. That actually helps out as well. So we'll see you in the next OBS video. Y'all take care.